Here is the default layout of the layout editor when you open Interconnect for the first time. I'll start by closing some of the extraneous windows from the view that I won't be using, just to make the view simpler and less cluttered on the screen. I will close the Script Workspace, Script Favorites, and Port View windows. I can always reopen windows again later, either from View, Windows menu, or by right-clicking at the top of any of the windows and selecting the window that I want to show. I can also click and drag to resize panels in the view, click and drag any of the windows around, or double-click on the top of a window to undock it. I'll move the property window so that it's above the results view and elementary windows on the left. I'll also arrange the position of the script prompt window so that it's separate from the output window. If I close the program, the settings of the view will be the same the next time I open the software. We will be using the simplified view for the remainder of the demonstrations that we'll show in this course. I'll add a straight waveguide and optical network analyzer from the element library by dragging and dropping them. I can select an element by clicking on it in the port view. You can see that the content shown in the property view, result view, and port view depends on which element is selected, so you can set different properties depending on whether the root element, waveguide, or optical network analyzer is selected. In the property view and result view windows, a hierarchical tree view is shown by default. In the tree view, I can expand and collapse sections to see different properties of the selected element. You can also switch to table view if you prefer, by right-clicking in the window. If you're unsure about the meaning of certain properties, or you want more details about a particular element, you can right-click on the element in the schematic and click Help. This will open up the corresponding online documentation for that element in your browser.